Integrating Laravel Blade was one of the first steps made here while building a custom WordPress team and recently I received a question from Yukado, one of the readers, considering issues with page templates using this setup. It turned out that they were right. We've missed an important detail in our previous discussion, which needs to be fixed. So welcome back, I'm Przemek and in this material I will show you how to create page templates with Laravel Blade in WordPress. I will discuss the problem in the initial Blade in integration and I will show you how to fix them. You will also learn and one useful trick too. If you hadn't had a chance to check out the full material about the blade, I insist you to do it now, as we will continue exploring this topic deeper here. WordPress offers a built-in feature to create the custom templates, which has been one of the nicest tools in my WordPress adventure. Those custom templates are incredibly useful, especially when creating custom themes tailored to meet the specific client needs, as we do most of the time. To add a new template, you need to create a new file in the themes root directory and add a specific header to it. A similar approach can be used with the Laravel blade that we use in the system. You need to create a blade template in the resources slash views directory and add a header, but be aware of the different command style. After you create a new template, WordPress will automatically display it in the admin area. Once selected, the content defined within the template will appear on the corresponding page, giving you a flexibility to build what you need. Ricardo raised a concern about the initial Laravel Blade integration that we've implemented a few times ago. It seems that the custom page templates didn't function as expected there. While adding a new WordPress template in the Blade format to the resources slash views directory, with the correct header of course, it did not appear in the admin area. By default, WordPress searches for the custom page templates in the team's root directory, located in the WP content team's footmate in our case. However, in our Blade setup we defined views in a different directory. It was the WP content team's footmate resources slash views. Since we relocated those templates on the fly without informing WordPress about the new directory, it couldn't automatically find to then display them in the admin area. To resolve those issues, we need to inform WordPress about the new template location by changing the team's root directory to the WP content team's footmate resources. And here we have a fun fact about WordPress itself. The team's root directory is determined by the location of the style.css file. Therefore, to change the team's root, simply move the style CSS file to the desired location and reactivate the team in the admin panel. It is crucial to move other default team's files like functions.php, index.php and screenshot.png to the new location as well because WordPress will now look for them in this directory. Moving the styles.css file is just one step in the solution. We also need to tweak the function that maps the WordPress template path to the blade files. I will spare you with the line by line breakdown, it's enough to know that we must update the template paths from their original locations to those managed by Blade. I've already implemented this fix, so if you want to make the same change in your repository, simply modify relocate functions with the changes that I've outlined. Also remember that after changing the team's root directory as described earlier, you will need to adjust several other areas in your project codebase to correctly reflect the new paths, but they are really really simple, uh, really simple changes. I recommend reviewing the entire pull request to see all the changes. It shouldn't be problematic because this PR is really small, so you should notice all the things that need to be changed there. I owe a big thanks to Ricardo for this contribution, which made this material possible. His impact on the project and the community is deeply appreciated. I will always be grateful for such kind of value feedback, so thank you again. And that wraps up the today's material. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. While it may not be significant to the WordPress development, it offers a view into my debugging journey and the challenge that I've documented along the way. If this information assists even one person, I consider it is as a success. So please share your feedback in the YouTube comments. I will be really glad for your thoughts. So thank you for staying with me today. If you didn't already sub subscribe to my channel, I insist you to do this now to stay up to date with the latest content. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to thumbs up because it will help me. So thank you for your time again and see you next time. Bye bye.